All right, so for the first bit of this video, you'll need to cut off lengths of ribbon long enough so that it'll touch your baby, but not um, so it touches the bottom of the box. So they should move if something, if like the wind blows. And then at the top of your box, you'll need to put some holes in it to string the ribbon through. I had all this filmed, but while the rest of the video went through fine, the bit that I had filmed, that bit, the first bit that I had filmed did not. So now you had to put up with me just talking about it. So I put in four holes um, equally spaced along my box and you will see them in the later clips and I just threaded the ribbon through them and then put cell tape at the top. And that will do the trick quite nicely. Moppet, honey, you need to have a sleep. Um, so that that's fun. I'm sorry. I did have it all filmed. Um, it was actually five minutes long and really good. But um, yeah, I erased it straight away, of course, from my from my camera. And now I don't have it for you. But I'll show you what I mean with the spacing with the already finished box. I feel like one of those TV show hosts. Here's one that I made earlier. Here is one that I made earlier. So, see what I mean? I just put spaces in here with my um, scissors and I cut off the top of my box. So, poked holes in there with my scissors and then threaded the ribbon through and sewn taped it. So, the finished product looks like that. Now, for the rest of the video that did not corrupt. Alright, so here we have all the pinks done. I've just done a row of each, so an, a subsequent row. So I have sellotaped them, the ribbons, on. They won't stand up to a baby who can pull them down, but um, B is just learning her grasping reflex, so that'll work nicely for her. So I trim the excess ribbon and make sure I move it somewhere B can't eat it, and then <laughs> and then I'm ready for the next slot so as you can see the top is still looking a little bit messy because I haven't trimmed off all the bits yet um, so if you're working with a child who can already use their grasp reflex well actually manually choose to grasp then you need to I would recommend covering the sellotape bits of ribbon with some Duracell like you cover your books with when you are in school um, because that will keep the ribbon on stronger that will be happening in the next few weeks as Bernadette gets a hold of her grass reflex but for now that will do the inside of the box currently looks like that it's pretty ugly but you know what it does the job so I'll put in there and we will see how we go she might be a little bit yowly though so here we see Bernadette in the box she is feeling the texture of the cardboard currently and I think she quite likes it she seems pretty happy and wriggly which is always a good sign she is not currently trying to there we go see how she's trying to touch the ribbons but she can't quite work out how over the next few weeks as her reflexes develop she'll be able to grab the ribbons and then I'll have to put Duracell on the top so that she can't pull them down but she's currently very happy with how it is now you must always use this with supervision of course because you don't want your baby to swallow any of those ribbons by accident but that's one happy baby and it's a good tool for development because once again it's got all those colours for her to look at and it helps her train up that um, reflex and to be honest even like the little holes left over you can see them on her are good for her development because it's the different light all right i'll see you next week um after christmas so merry christmas and god bless